The San Rafael Swell is an asymmetrical anticline, with the steepest part in the east nicknamed the San Rafael Reef. The anticline was formed during the Laramide orogeny, which is hypothesized to have been caused by a flat slab subduction of the North American Plate and the Kula and Farallon Plates. This uplifted, among others, the Jurassic Navajo and Wingate sandstones. There are many slot canyons in the San Rafael area, but I focused on the Little Wild Horse Canyon, as well as the Ding and Dang It Canyons. And isn't that such a great name? The intersection of the Ding Canyon with the Dang Canyon is at the Ding Dang Dome. Now, try saying that three times fast. Ding Dang Dome. Ding Dang Dome. Ding Dang Dome. Dome. Bleh. Anyways, slot canyons. The slot canyons found at the swell are formed through the erosion of the sandstones, typically during flash flooding. Due to the uplift of the swell, as well as stress fractures caused by surrounding faults, the sandstone was cracked, increasing the area that the water could act upon. Another component of slot canyon erosion is the abrasive power of the sediment carried by the floods. As sand and gravel are scraped and saltated against the ground, the riverbed is downcut and the canyon grows even deeper. And here we get to see me struggle to draw a gun. My targeted ads next week are going to be interesting. I then realized that eh, the cowpoke's going to be super small anyways. As long as I have a general shape, I should be fine. But wow, I really don't know how to draw guns. Here, I decided to put water in this canyon, mainly because I wanted to draw a little waterfall. Just a friendly reminder that before exploring a slot canyon, to remember to check the weather forecast of not only the immediate area, but of the surrounding areas as well. While I may not have drawn a specific section of either the Ding and Ding canyons or the Little Wild Horse Canyon, I did take inspiration from them. The wonderful thing about nature is, is that so many fantastic geological formations are possible. The rock above our mysterious cow poke is called a choke stone, or a chalk stone. I got two different words for the same thing. But then again, this isn't a geological definition, but a rock climbing one. <laughs> 